This video includes an advert from Squarespace. Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I am joined by my girlfriend Jasmine. Hello. And today we are going to do something that I've been thinking about doing on this channel for a very long time. But I thought it would have even more cringe if I filmed it with you. So today we're going to react to some of my very, very old cringy magic performances. We're talking Stephen as a 10 year old, Stephen as an awkward teenager. We're going through the whole works. So we're going to start off with a clip that my friend uh, Jamie sent me that I've not seen before. I've never watched this because he just found it on his computer and then just sent me this. I kind of vaguely rem remember filming it. Why am I putting this on the internet? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I've got my cup and first of all I'm going to get the sponge back because I need the sponge. Place the cup on the table and click the thing. <laughs> Why is there and... a it should have worked, because I think it has. Did I, yes! Was that a camera trick? See. Hold on. Did I just do a visual <laughs> effect? <laughs> no, because part of me just thinks that I didn't have a good sense of... Oh my goodness, my standards were low back I then. I think he did a, a jump cut and put the ball under the cup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fraud. Unsubscribed. All right. The sponge. The same sponge. <laughs> okay. How this camera work? <laughs> Place the cup. And make sure there's still nothing in it oh, on the table. Dare, okay. The jump cut. I'm gonna throw the sponge away, right? Oh, it's gonna be a jump cut because there's no way. This... Oh ah! no! Okay. Who am I? So you've thrown the thing away. Yeah, I've thrown the sponge away, <laughs> and the door creaks open. No, it's my mate. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Sorry. Dad, it's my dad bringing me crisps. Okay. Um, anywho. I'm not appreciating enough Legend. that lovely gesture from my dad. Legend. Thank you, Dad. Bringing me crisps. I didn't care at all, oh, did I? I was like. Thanks for the crisp, Dad. So. Get out. I didn't <laughs> yeah. even say thank you. Doing magic here. <laughs> That's a trick. Okay. Click my fingers and... Those of you who can't <laughs> see, the sponge is back. Two sex on it. Now is that the same sponge? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same that same sponge. message. <laughs> Jamie Ross on the camera zoom. Is that a little lapel mic you've got on? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We don't mess around with our production. <laughs> It's important. Should we skip through a bit? Okay. <laughs> I'm totally just right. making this up as I go along. Where is the sponge for a million pounds? Uh, this is from your busking routine. It's not, this but I know what you mean. That's actually your Paul Daniels line I just nicked there. Right. Why are you See? zooming in my pocket? Right. So Sorry, in other words? To your credit, there was no magic in this video, but... You can see the performance. You can see like you wanting to be a magician. That's really cute. Anyway, let's move on from this cringy. Oh, uh, oh, he got a fringe. <laughs> now we're entering. What? I don't know what phase this was. Can we just appreciate this? Everything that's happening here. This look. Here. This is when I went through a long hair phase. The fringe, the blue blazer, and like <sighs> band tee underneath. Oh, okay. So this is my tricky TV audition when I was oh. on a TV show called Tricky TV. This audition got me in, but it I is watched this show truly awful. When I was a kid, which is really weird. I wa I really, I watched this religiously. You probably I saw me. Fancied the presenter. What's his name? Stephen Mulhern. Stephen Mulhern. Stephen Mulhern, yeah, I fancied him. Who, ironically, when I told my dad that I was dating a magician called Stephen, for about two weeks, he thought I was dating Stephen Mulhern. He genuinely so, thought that. Yes. Because there's only one. Yeah. He's got the he's got the, the lockdown, the niche yeah, on Stevens. Yeah. So um oh, here we go. The first routine I'd like to show you is a coins across. It's my Good favorite audio. routine to perform. No audio. Where's the audio gone? I can hear it. Can you? Yeah. Oh, I think it's one sided. Oh. Uh, How is it? For this trick I need three coins, but as you can see I don't have any. You're putting on a voice. I'm going. Hello. No, Hi. you're not. No? You're, you're listen to it. Coy. Okay. I said I need three, and that's only one. So if I oh, tap my hand again, I can... oh yeah, yeah. But I did talk a bit Why like that. Why are you putting on that voice? I did talk a bit like that. Um, this is actually decent magic. Like, this is a good coin routine. It's coin. It's a variation of coins across. And this isn't. This is like. Stop talking over the trick. <laughs> I mean, they can't just watch this. Yeah. They'll get so bored so I'm quickly. I'm absorbed in this magic right now. We'll look for this next time. Here it comes. Yeah. Three, two, one. You've done this trick for me. Yeah, a lot oh, of yeah. this material is stuff I still do. Also, what people think I do is they think I try and drop a coin over here when you're not looking. But you would see that. Just to prove that point wrong, I'll keep this hand really far apart for the last coin to melt away and... What has happened to your voice? 
That's genuinely how I used you, to talk. Can we pause it? You're going to melt away. Like. Uh, yeah, I used to be a bit Geordie. What from Newcastle? Really Geordie, yeah. Yeah, it's really strange, isn't it? Because I don't have that at all now. You've got a northern accent now, but not Geordie. And this is me doing the, the trick that when I find uh, all the cards in the same suit. Oh, this is me doing that at like 10. Wow. Not that I'm trying to be like, big deal at 10 years old or whatever it was. I don't mean that at all, but like. You think about, what, 13? 12, 13 here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be around then. Mm. <laughs> Terrible top shot. But like, I think the point I'm making, trying to make, is that sometimes it's just a case of refining the material. Like, you don't necessarily need to be all about learning new tricks. You kind of do if you're making YouTube videos because people need new material. But a lot of the magic that I perform now is very similar to the stuff that I was doing 5, 10, literally 10, 15 years ago. Um, I'm still terrible at that move. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Uh, anyway, let's just watch this little outro. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't get to hear it, but I bet it sounds awful. That's just a few effects. Is it truly terrible? Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Uh, if you want to see anything else, <laughs> That's just... enough. <laughs> what was it? Those huh. are just a few effects. <laughs> Can I just hear it all? Drop me an email. Thanks very much. See ya. Thanks very much. See ya. I can't even do my own voice anymore. Such a cutie. So I think right now you've seen the mastery that is Stephen Bridges' close-up magic, but what you don't know is that I actually used to always enter stage magic and close-up magic competitions. I never won the close-up ones, despite being way better at close-up magic, but I tended to win the stage ones every now and again. So um, here is me winning or performing some stage magic. It's just very awkward. I'm clearly not comfortable on stage at all. Oh, this is a close-up competition, I take it back. But I'm still awkward. Sorry. You're wearing glasses. Yeah, I don't wear glasses, but they're, they're used for a trick in the... Right, okay. This suit jacket doesn't fit me at all. What Look at those you, shoulders. Who is that? <laughs> Isn't it great <laughs> how... It, glasses and a suit. In every clip I look so different. Well, this is <laughs> this is the J-Day. This is the Young Magicians Club close-up competition finals. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I've got a smudge on my oh my gosh, I'm so awkward. Before, uh, we don't mind now. So, I remember my... It's a joke. But my, my uh, a magician, a young magician called Joe wrote this up like as a little review. And he like talked about it as if it was a trick, like I'd pushed the hanky through solid glasses. No, just no lenses in them. It was supposed to be a joke. Fair. Uh, sorry, you might have been thinking I was going to do some magic with glasses. Well, actually, I can do some magic with glasses if you like. All I need to do is this. Worth playing. Lost points in this competition for the drink in the bottle being clear, because it's not as visible. But at the end, I pour some Ribena in it, so it was a nice... Yeah. But no, lost some points. Uh, so there's me awkwardly on stage yeah, doing a close-up competition. <laughs> this is what I was referring to before, Stephen Bridges on a stage. <laughs> <laughs> this really awkward open. Here we go, blowing up the balloon. This goes on for another ten minutes. Oh, so what? Cringy. Oh, is it? <laughs> nothing. There's no music. There's no speech. Yeah, there's nothing. This let's just so quiet. let's just sit and enjoy this together. Here we go. Oh, oh. But then I just don't really you gave care. A couple of people front of heart attack, you all enjoy Easter yeah. Parade? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I usually give one of these away every other show. This is the other show. <laughs> <laughs> my, voice, my accent's so different. Why is your voice? Let's start straight away. Here I have a piece of rope. It is you though. Here it's... I have a piece of rope. It is you. Do like a do a nasally voice. What do you mean? <laughs> how Just do I do speak, that? What, speak up here. Like speak this. up. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's, that's how. That's how I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have a here. I have a piece of rope. I can't what? even do the accent. Do I, I can't do a Geordie <laughs> accent, and I had one as a child. Evidently, oh I thought God. I never really had one, but evidenced by this. Here's oh, a look here, here's you. look at this tie. This is a playing <gasps> card tie. You. Pro tip for all the young magicians out there: don't ever wear a playing card tie. <gasps> don't do it. There is no reason to do it. You. Look at this. This is the hair gel phase. You look like oh God. 
Put up a picture of the sun from my parents are aliens right now because you look exactly the same. <laughs> I'm going to, after three, I'd like you to throw it. If you aim about here, it works yeah. best. One, two, three. Oh, that's <laughs> impressive. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you stay here for a second? Sorry. Can you stay here for a second? Six of spades. You basically just held that man hostage. <laughs> Wait, there's a kicker. It's actually two pieces of glass, elastic banded together, and your card has gone through one piece of glass. Can you just take that? He is a... <laughs> He's like... He's like, great. Alright, son. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> My own child does magic and I'm just done with all this. Yeah. What are your thoughts about me as a young magician? What do you think? Um, adorable. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't it wasn't even cute though. <laughs> Maybe in the cute. first clip it's somewhat uh, like Oh look at him try. Yeah, um you your stage presence has improved massively. I'd hope so um, from that. Don't hold your um audience participants hostage on stage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please please don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. I can't even do the That's accent. another trick. <laughs> What was that? Is it? Not drawing. another trick. Uh, you're from the north. You should be able to do it. Look, we've moved past that. <laughs> thank you. Hi there. Before you leave, I need to say a thank you to Squarespace for advertising on this video. You've probably heard of Squarespace by now. They allow you to make really simple, clean, professional websites even if you've got no design experience whatsoever. What's really nice about it is that their sites automatically look really good on mobile. So you just make the site you want to make in their very easy peasy website builder, and then when you're done, it already looks great in mobile, which is quite a difficult thing to get right, but it looks great every single time. They've also got an e-commerce feature, which is very, very good. It allows you to sell products, digital products if you want, tickets to things very, very easily on the website itself. So you don't need to sort of go off platform just to sell something, you can do it all nice and easily on Squarespace. Recently I've been using their e-commerce feature to sell tickets myself and it's very, very smooth, very, very easy. I'm really happy to have Squarespace as a sponsor because I've been using their service for years and I started using their service when I saw a YouTuber doing a Squarespace sponsor and I've just had nothing but good experiences. So if you wanna have your own website or if you've got a website already and you kinda of want it on a bit of a, a simpler, easier platform, then I'd highly recommend it. If you go and check out the link in my description, you can find out more and that also helps me out. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you soon.